What's up everyone? Good fucking morning. I am excited for the day. I'm excited for this back workout. I'm excited to get this shit going. And it's going to be a great fucking day. Eight fucking meals. And uh, I'm looking forward to everything. What can I say? I'm looking forward to getting on the scale and that shit saying 310. What are the possibilities of that? I don't know. <laughs> Last I checked that was 308.8 or some shit. So, got to get that fucking, keep that scale moving, keep putting on muscle, and, um, you know, fuck, got, another, still got, what, two and a half months or something left? I don't even know, but um, all I know is we got plenty of time, and I'm, I'm, I'm oh, you know what is, is, is fucking hilarious as fuck is I'm starting to see, everyone's talking about that Rich Piana claimed he was going to get to 400 pounds. <laughs> Rich Piana claims he was going to get to 350, and I don't know where this shit came from, but I just want to clear it up and let you guys know, everyone out there, that I, I might have been joking around and said something like, I could get to 350 if I wanted, but I, no way in the world am going to get to 350 or 400, and I know where I would never want to get to 350 let alone 400. 400, I would be a fat fucking piece of shit. And I don't care, there's no way humanly possible that I could be 400 and not be a fat piece of shit. And we all know that. So, you know, I my goal is to get as big as I can without putting any fat or fucking excess water on. Now in the process of getting there, I'm gonna put some fat on and I'm gonna put some water on, but when the whole process is said and done, I'm gonna be at a much higher weight and leaner and less water retentive than I was when I started this program at 276. So, just wanted to clear that shit up because people take my words and you know misconstrued them and fucking, you know, it's fucking unbelievable. So, clear that shit up. No, I'm not fucking gonna try to get to 350. I would never even think about getting to 350 because I would look like a fat piece of shit and I'm aware of that. Now, I feel the biggest I could get would be probably 325, 330. And um, I, could get, I could get to 330 and, and still maintain a lean, what I mean by lean is body fat percentage. I'm gonna have a low body fat percentage, but visually, I'm gonna be thick as fuck and stocky as fuck and um, you know, not symmetrical, not aesthetic, not aesthetically pleasing because it's just too much size. You know, it's just, it's not gonna look good no matter what. There comes a point where it's just too much mass you know, and you're going to lose your lines, you're going to lose that aesthetically pleasing flow of the physique. It slowly goes away. And, you know, when you get to that size, it's impossible. You know, and so I would never, ever choose to be that heavy or that big. Uh, 330 to me is, is, is crazy. It's fucking, it's insane. It's, it's way too much. But I, I could still do it and you know be fine with it and be okay with the way i look you know but as you all know bigger is not better in my eyes and i prefer myself at around 260 and i've said that a million times and uh i'm just doing this because it's fucking it's fun let's do this shit you know what i mean let's get to fucking 330 let's be big as fuck let's let's bring big back 2016 let's bring bodybuilding back let's get these contests fucking where you, these guys step on stage and there's 30 guys on stage. You know, let's bring bodybuilding back. I want to walk into Gold's Venice and see 20 motherfuckers huge as fuck throwing weight around. You know, those were the fucking good old days and they're gone. You know, there's no more big fucking guys walking around. There's no more big guys anywhere. I don't see them. So um, this year, 2016, is the year of fucking big. And then 2017 is going to be the year of skinny. Right, babe? We're going to bring skinny back. I'll be a skinny-ass motherfucker. No. <laughs> so anyway, so um, cardio time. Get my ass on cardio. Hit my 30 minutes. And um, 
I haven't shown myself do cardio. I don't know if you guys need to see me do it. I've seen some posts where people want to see me do different shit, but there's a reason I don't show me doing everything every day because that shit would be boring as fuck and the videos would be four hours long. So um, get my ass on cardio. I already did the fucking growth. Feeling good, got my all day you made, blue raspberry, and um, cardio, breakfast, fucking little bit of work, and then hit the fucking gym. I don't know what gym we're gonna hit, but I know we're gonna be hitting Gold's Venice again very soon, right babe? Cause that uh, shit yeah. is in our blood. Yes. It was fucking a great day, a great workout. So anyway guys, have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. <sighs> Oh shit, I think this is the first time ever I'm on video drinking water. <laughs> right babe? Yeah. Holy shit, I just realized that shit. I'm always drinking all day you may. Yeah. And people always ask, Rich, how much water do you drink? Do you drink any water? We never see you drink water. Yeah. Well, the obvious is you mix water in all day you may, so <laughs> I'm getting that water. Yeah. But the answer is yes, I do drink water every day. and. Um, it's crazy, but yeah, I, uh, I'm always carrying that jug with me. It's like a habit. Like, it's just with me everywhere I go, you know, every, it's just always with me. It's always in my hand. It's always sitting next to me. So that's why you always see me drinking that. But I do drink a lot of just regular water. Sometimes there's nothing better or more refreshing than just plain ice water. True? You know, sometimes you just need just plain ice water. It's just, there's nothing that hits the spot like that. So that's when you're super dehydrated, super thirsty. So I drink water all the time. And you guys should drink water all the time. Water is one of the most important things. Gotta drink a lot of water. At least a gallon a day. Is that what it is? Yep. I would say fucking more than that. Yeah, a gallon, like a... <laughs> no, you can't, you can drink too much too. So beware people, you can, you can actually drink too much water, so yeah, you gotta so. be careful. But um, yeah, I would say that's a good, that's a good, you know, a good average. Mm -hmm. um, and food. Stop enough about water. Let's fucking talk about food. Right, baby? Yes. Fuck yeah. Time to get food. So what are you eating? Pasta. Uh huh. Meat. An incredible fucking, it makes the best fucking bolognese sauce. So fucking good. I'm trying to think what meal this is. This is my, I'm way behind in meals by the way people. Way fucking behind. I think this is like my maybe third meal of the day. I'm <laughs> guessing. Yeah, I think it's my third. No reason to guess. I need to fucking know that shit. Yeah, this is my third. Yo, it is fucking shake time. And I'm scraping the bottom, goddammit. Scraping the bottom of this thing. <laughs> Another one fucking down. Oh, I don't know what it is, but I like saving the empty containers. <laughs> I have like, I have like so many. I don't know what it is. Oh shit. Frosted Flake Day. It's going to be a frosted flake day. I've gotten used to the texture of having the frosted flakes and it's all thick and shit. And I don't know why, but it's just, it seems like it just makes it taste so much better. It's like a, like a, like an old fashioned milkshake or some shit. <laughs> so fucking good. And then I put it in the freezer for like maybe, maybe 40, 45 minutes before we go to the gym. And then I take it. So it kind of like, you know, it's like half frozen. And then by the time I get done working out, it's, oh my God, I can't even explain. If you guys haven't done that, it's. It's a night and day difference. It's like, I mean, it's like a fucking, it's like a fucking incredible milkshake. It's so fucking good. Like, I don't think there's any milkshake I can think of that I would rather have than this. It's, it's fucking crazy how good it tastes. So, okay, I have that and I got my Kill It that I already jump start and I already got it in the freezer. 
So you can see that shit, how it's already starting to freeze. Oh yeah. So I'll put these in the freezer and in about 40 minutes, we're off. And we are on our way to the gym to fucking kill back. Right, baby? Yeah. Gonna destroy back. And I'm looking forward to this workout. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome, babe. Hell so, yeah. are you, what are you doing? Are you gonna train with me? Yeah. Yeah? Are you gonna train back with me? Yes. Oh, shit. Watch out, goddammit. No, I was just about to tell you. You gotta watch out, huh? <laughs> Okay. Oh. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? do? I gotta fucking weigh myself at the gym. Oh yeah. Don't let me forget. Okay. I gotta weigh myself at the gym. Yeah. Oh shit. Looks like curb. God damn it. Oh no. <laughs> right. And I'm behind on my meals tonight, by the way. So I'm gonna be up fucking. Oh, today is fucking. Sunday? Babe! What? Today is Sunday! Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Fucking gym closes at fucking 10! Really? Oh shit. Oh. oh my god, look at this shit! Oh my god, there's no one, like, there's not even. Mother fucking shit! I've never seen this so empty. Awkward! <laughs> what the fuck? There's no one here. It's dead. Ain't this but a fucking bitch. The fuck are we gonna do? There's nothing open. There's only, uh, is 24 hour open on Sundays? 24 hours a day? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I can, I can Google it. Yeah, what are we gonna go with? They're not even gonna, they're not gonna let us film shit. Motherfuckers. Probably not. Let me see. Fucking shit. I don't even believe this shit. Uh, yeah, we're a little late today. <laughs> fucking getting to the gym, man. What time is it anyway? It's like... Yeah, it's, I think it's uh 11.34. Oh my God, we wouldn't have had enough time anyway to train. We only had fucking half an hour <laughs> to train. Jesus. Motherfucker. Unfucking believable. I don't know if they're open on the weekends 24 hours or not. I have no idea. I never... Uh, Let's just check it out. Let me see. It's a good thing I don't fucking know the schedule of 24 hour fitness, goddammit. 24 hour fitness sucks shit. Mm hmm. LA Fitness sucks shit. Let you me heard see. it right from my motherfucking lips. It's in Northridge, right? Yeah. Um, All right, we got Open one. 24 hours. Oh, well, shit. Do you want me to call just in case? No, they're open. I mean, obviously, people we know is 24 hours. We know it's only 24 hours, but. No, I know, but I've you know. I've known other gyms that they're only 24 hours on the weekdays. I know, yeah. That, 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 and then that, the weekends or whatever. And it's like, what the fuck? Then, that, then, then you're not 24 hours, goddammit. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Just call just so we're not driving there yeah, for nothing, you know? Probably. Oh, no, this one's closed, see? Yeah, really? The one in Santa, on Santa Monica Boulevard is closed. So that's true then. They're not all open. Yeah, so should I call? All right, well, which one should we do? Yes, this is the one on, in Firehouse that I went to. Oh, okay, call that, okay. Yep. Alright, cool. So I guess we'll fucking go there. They're not gonna let us film though, right? They're gonna fucking. Uh, let's just. We just gotta be secretive. We just gotta be secretive. Yeah, with the filming, you know. I mean, it's gonna be hard, but. Uh, yeah, because I don't know how that works. I don't think they let you just go in on a day pass and pay. Like, they let you pay for a day, right? I don't think. So. I, I, I'm not sure, I, honestly. So. What the fuck? Well, you know, the worst case scenario is we go to Gold's Venice. Oh, like 4 a.m.? Yeah, yeah, they open at 4. Why don't you do that? And uh, you want to just do that? Yeah. Just go to Gold's Venice at 4? Yeah. And just stay up? Yep. Fuck. Why not? Uh, uh. We, got, oh, oh, we, we got to do so much shit so we can use the time to do everything we need, also we need to do, you know? Yeah. So, no rest for the wicked, right? Nope. You guys can see what our really life consists of. Fucking staying up all night, every motherfucking night. Running around like fucking crazy people. Right, babe? 
Yeah, on motherfucking stop. I don't know how the fuck I'm putting on fucking any kind of fucking muscle in my fucking schedule. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, I know why. Babe, you know why I'm putting on all this muscle? What? Because I'm taking steroids. Oh, shit. That's why. I don't, you don't even have to fucking work out when you take steroids. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. When you take steroids, you don't have to work out. You don't have to fucking eat a lot. You just... Yeah, right? Yeah, you just take a fucking <laughs> shot. You put on muscle. That's why. So, of course, I'm putting on muscle. <laughs> Jeez. No-brainer. Yeah, right? So easy. Everyone's told me... I've already seen all the comments how easy it is. Yeah, right. They're like, of course you put on 30 pounds of muscle. You're on steroids. Come on. Yeah, right. <laughs> Everyone knows that. <laughs> uh, all right, so I guess we're just going to fucking head home. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> Go to Venice in, uh, like, what? Uh, three hours, three and a half hours. We'll leave it. We'll leave at 3.15. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. by four. Yeah, so, like, so, like... Three and a half hours, yeah, yeah, something like that. Shit, you fucking believe this shit. Yep, so now it's gonna go home and work. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna run a red light, babe. Uh oh, it's pink, babe, it's okay. <laughs> if it's pink, it's, it's okay. <laughs> All right, here we are. Round two, ahead to the gym. Gold's Venice, goddammit, at four in the morning. Wait, let me check that shit. Oh, wait a minute. It's 4.18 in the morning. Oh. And I'm sure we get comments on having Sarah as my fucking... <laughs> hey, how did that get on there, goddammit? Babe, where'd that come from? <laughs> and I have no texts. You know what's funny is I didn't realize is when I show my phone, people will be like, who is so-and-so that you're texting? That's always texting you. I'm like, fuck. I never even think about that. Like, I can, like, show my phone and, you know, it shows, it reads the text, right? I mean, you can read part of the text. And who knows what the fuck someone could have texted me, right? And I'm sitting here showing the whole fucking world. <laughs> and I, I didn't even fucking think about that shit. Didn't even cross my fucking mind that, you know, I'm just showing my phone and who knows what the hell someone could have texted me, right? Jeez. Not that I have anything to worry about or anything to be concerned about. <laughs> but ready to train? You still got energy, babe? I'm ready. You still got energy? You yep. still awake? Uh, yep. Yeah? I'm ready. You feel just as good now, better, or not as good as when we pulled up to North Hollywood? The same. Exactly the same. Yeah, better. <laughs> I feel fucking better. I would say better. I have more energy. I'm fucking ready. God damn it. Gold's Venice, right? I mean, just going to Gold's Venice over going to Gold's North Hollywood is enough to I know, yeah. give you We haven't energy. been to Gold's Venice in forever, forever, I feel like. Ever. Look at all the fucking people here at 4 in the morning. Should I try to get prime parking? Of course. What do Let you think? See. Prime parking? I'll open the window. Let's see. Let's check it out. Try to get prime Gold's motherfucking gym. parking. Not going to fucking happen because no one's left yet, right? What? Really? You see anything? Any prime fucking parking? Oh, look. Over here, there's prime parking, babe. What about here? Anything right in front? Uh, don't see anything. Over here? Oh, one spot. Oh, two. Oh, there's over here all kinds of spots. See, what happens is people assume uh, there's nothing. that all the prime parking's taken, Yeah. right? So they fucking... Uh, oh, I can see myself in the mirror. Woohoo, hey! Let me ask you a question. When people back up, when they back their cars up like that, yeah. it's like a pain in the fucking ass, right? They're just trying to show off the, oh, like, the is car. Is that what it is? Is yeah. that what it is? They're trying to show the car off? Yeah. What, does the car... Look better backed up? Some people... Oh, listen, you need a fucking brace, baby. You need to get that shit fixed. Uh, oh, brother. <laughs> does, um, does the car look better backed up? Yeah, it looks better on the, f the front. I don't ah, know. Ah, babe, ah. <laughs> Your fucking hair is stuck. Hold on. I'm gonna... Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna show it on camera. Wait, hold on. Look, guys. Wait, oh, I can't put it down. Uh, ah, it's, it's stuck. Here. Well, roll it down already. Babe, is it showing? Yep, uh, not really. Can, you, uh, can it do it? What do you want to show them? That you fucking... That I'm stuck in your hair stuck in the yeah. fucking window by rolling it up? Okay. Uh. All right. Uh. Uh, okay, roll the fucking window down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, it hurt. <sighs> so what I... So I don't, I don't think so. I think a Porsche... Is that a 911 or a Boxer? I can't even see. I don't a know. 911? I mean, maybe... I think a 911 looks better from the back, honestly. Maybe... Whoever I'm just curious. I'm just curious what the reason it is. Guys, hit me up on Instagram. Tell me the reason. I, I used to. I used to do it. <laughs> tell me the reason. 
why you go out of your way to back your car up in a parking spot. I just, I don't know what it is. That's why I'm curious. I'm yeah. curious if it's so, like so, an easier so, getaway. Like so, some people, I can understand if you're like robbing a bank or something. You, <laughs> yeah, some people like to just be able to just drive straight out. Uh -huh. Um, I've heard that before, but I used to back my I car off like, like that. I always assume it's like to show the car off. You know, yeah. it's usually, it's usually a somewhat nice car that does that. It's usually yeah. not like a total. <laughs> it's, it's not usually a, it's a nicer car that does that. It's not a Prius. Like here we have a Porsche 911, you know, so it's a nice car. So it's not a Prius. Right. So they are just, I'm just curious <laughs> on why they back, why they, I have to ask the person next time. Next time I see someone, I have to ask, excuse me, can I ask you a question? Like, I don't think I'm being an asshole, right? I don't think I'm <laughs> being a dick, but I'm really just curious. Yeah. So hit me up, guys. Let me know on my Instagram. Tell me what, what, the, what the, the honest reason is, because I, I don't know what it is. But, um, shot, wait, shot back your car up? Back it up, put it. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, but yeah, this car definitely looks better in the front than the back. Oh, for sure, for I sure. I think, right? Should we back it up or what? <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, let's go do this shit. Yep. Gold's Venice. I can't explain the feeling you get walking in those doors. The instant motivation, the energy. You just can't wait to get in that gym and fucking destroy shit. And uh, I'm telling you, if you haven't experienced this, you need to experience it. So today we're killing back, destroying this shit. So lat pull downs to the front. Now notice how high and how full that stretches at the top. I stretch it almost like my lats are going to pop out of pop out of place. That full stretch at the top and big squeeze on the bottom. Now bent over rows. Same thing, you gotta stretch it all the way down and all the way up and squeeze that shit at the top, squeeze. And you wanna make sure your body is not coming too high up. Then you're hitting the rear delts and traps. So you wanna hit the entire back. Pull downs behind the neck. Now this is an incredible exercise for making those lats pop out. So again, full stretch at the top all the way up and squeeze at the bottom. You have to remember that your muscles will not do this on their own. You can't just go in the gym and go through the movement and just pull it up and down. You need to actually squeeze it and stretch it and think about it. That's what's gonna make those muscles grow. And getting that intense burning pump, getting as much blood pumped into that muscle as possible. So seated rows, Squeeze it and stretch it and make that back burn. And you got to keep it out of the biceps. So you're using your lats to do the entire movement. And the reason for the full stretch is at the beginning of that stretch, you're engaging the lats and keeping the biceps out. So it's very important for that deep stretch. Now on pull-ups, all the way down and all the way up. No swinging. No jerking. You need to make that back do all the work. If you're swinging or if you're swinging up and down and jerking, you're not doing a goddamn thing. So make sure you're squeezing, stretching, keeping those biceps out, and making that back burn. Now T-bar rows. T-bar rows is a great mass builder and it's going to pile all kinds of mass and make that back thick as fuck. So again, you got to get that stretch at the bottom and squeeze at the top and make sure you're not going too heavy. That's the biggest mistake is trying to do too much weight. Now cable rows from the lower cable standing. Now as you can see, I am stretching the shit out of those lats and that stretch burns. Every time I drop my arms down and stretch those lats out, it burns and aches. And I come up and I squeeze the back together and I'm causing that pain. And you have to think about it and you've got to be using your mind in telling your body what's happening. I'm fucking squeezing and stretching and making this fucking back grow and making it fucking burn. Pullovers, great finishing movement. Gonna stretch the shit out of those lats, squeeze at the bottom and get an insane pump. So you're gonna leave the gym today with the fucking crazy ass pump. 
So that back is going to grow. Have a great fucking workout. We just finished working out and had the most incredible fucking workout. Oh my God, my back so pumped, crazy pump. And you know, I don't know about you guys, but for me, back is the hardest fucking muscle to get a pump in. And today, holy shit, everything I did just went straight to the back. Like my biceps, forearms, didn't get fucking pumped at all. All back, just like, slam, just burn, squeeze. Fucking awesome, incredible. And I think I made my shake a little too fucking thick. <laughs> Check this shit out. <laughs> yeah, I say it's just a little. A little bit too thick. A little too thick. <laughs> just a little. Yeah, I'm sitting here chewing my shake. <laughs> but you almost need a spoon. It's ice cold and it tastes so good. I need a fucking spoon though, but it's fucking good. It might take me an hour to drink it, but <laughs> it is so good. So yeah, it sounds like I'm having a pretty fucking awesome day, huh? I had an incredible workout, fucking incredible shake. The problem is, is that this isn't this day. This is yesterday. So this doesn't really count as today. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh. in other words, this is technically still my Sunday. So my Sunday is gonna end soon. <laughs> and then I still have Monday. So I'd like to be able to say that, fuck, my Monday's going awesome, but I haven't started my Monday yet. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. I think I need some sleep. I think I'm fucking starting to fucking say fucked up shit that doesn't make sense because I haven't gone to bed yet and it's fucking daylight outside. Yeah. So, and it looks like we got here before the fucking guy got here. Really? So, we're not gonna pay the fucking 16 bucks or whatever it is. So long, suckers. Ah, got him free, <laughs> goddammit. Uh-huh. Look at that. There's, there's that, oh. <laughs> they snooze their, their alarm. <laughs> yep, I know we just bird? barely made it. <laughs> so, we are at Gold's, I'm sorry, we're at Venice Beach. Ooh. And, if you guys haven't been here, you have no idea what you're missing. This is one of the coolest places in the fucking world. One of the craziest fucking places in the world also. But it is definitely fucking cool. So we're gonna film a, we're gonna film a couple little videos here, I think, right? We're gonna try? Yeah. See how it goes? We just got done working out. We're already here. We might as well fucking come down to the beach. It's literally a two minute drive. Film a couple videos here while we're here and, uh, and then fucking bounce home and get to work editing, get this video up. Yeah. Try to drink this fucking shake. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> mm. It's good though. Yeah. Really good. I have a spoon if you want. Yeah, the problem is I won't fucking fit in here. Uh, you can <laughs> use it. You can use a handle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, good luck with that. It's gonna take. <laughs> it, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> so, it's perfect time to film right now. The sun's just coming up. Weather is awesome. It's not hot. It's not cold. And we're at the beach. We're at the beach in the middle of fucking, what is it, February right now? And look how beautiful it is. Yeah. What's up everyone? Good fucking morning. I am excited for the day. I'm excited for this back workout. I'm excited to get this shit going. And it's gonna be a great fucking day. Eight fucking meals. And uh, I'm looking forward to everything. What can I say? I'm looking forward to getting on the scale and that shit saying 310. What are the possibilities of that? I don't know. <laughs> Last I checked, that was 308.8 or some shit. So, gotta get that fucking, keep that scale moving, keep putting on muscle, and, um, you know, 
Fuck, got another, still got what, two and a half months or something left? I don't even know, but um, all I know, I got plenty of time, and I'm, I'm, I'm oh, you know what is, is, is fucking hilarious as fuck is I'm starting to see, everyone's talking about that Rich Piana claimed he was going to get to 400 pounds. <laughs> Rich Piana claims he was going to get to 350, and I don't know where this shit came from, but I just want to clear it up and let you guys know, everyone out there, that I, I might have been joking around and said something like, I could get the 350 if I wanted, but I, no way in the world am going to get the 350 or 400, and I know where, I would never want to get to 350, let alone 400. 400, I would be a fat fucking piece of shit. And I don't care, there's no way humanly possible that I could be 400 and not be a fat piece of shit. And we all know that. So, you know, I my goal is to get as big as I can without putting any fat or fucking excess water on. Now in the process of getting there, I'm gonna put some fat on and I'm gonna put some water on. But when the whole process is said and done, I'm gonna be at a much higher weight and leaner and less water retentive than I was when I started this program at 276. So just wanted to clear that shit up because people take my words and, you know, misconstrued them and fucking, you know, it's fucking unbelievable. So clear that shit up. No, I'm not fucking going to try to get to 350. I would never even think about getting to 350 because I would look like a fat piece of shit. And I'm aware of that. Now, I feel the biggest... I could get would be probably 325, 330. And um, I could get I could get to 330 and and still maintain a lean. What I mean by lean is body fat percentage. I'm gonna have a low body fat percentage, but visually I'm gonna be thick as fuck and stocky as fuck. And, um, you know, not symmetrical, not aesthetic, not aesthetically pleasing because it's just too much size. You know, it's just, it's not going to look good no matter what. There comes a point where it's just too much mass, you know, and you're going to lose your lines. You're going to lose that aesthetically pleasing flow of the physique. It slowly goes away. And, you know, when you get to that size, it's impossible. You know, and so I would never ever choose to be that heavy or that big. Uh, Three thirty to me is 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 crazy. It's fucking. It's insane. It's it's way too much. But I, I could still do it, and you know, be fine with it, and be okay with the way I look. You know, but as you all know, bigger is not better in my eyes, and I prefer myself at around two sixty. And I've said that a million times, and uh, I'm just doing this because it's fucking, it's fun. Let's do this shit. You know what I mean? Let's get to fucking 330. Let's be big as fuck. Let's let's bring big back 2016. Let's bring bodybuilding back. Let's get these contests fucking where you, these guys step on stage and there's 30 guys on stage. You know, let's bring bodybuilding back. I want to walk into Gold's Venice and see 20 motherfuckers huge as fuck throwing weight around. You know, those were the fucking good old days, and they're gone. You know, there's no more big fucking guys walking around. There's no more big guys anywhere. I don't see them. So um, this year, 2016, is the year of fucking big. And then 2017 is going to be the year of skinny. Right, babe? We're going to bring skinny back. I'll be a skinny-ass motherfucker. No. <laughs> so anyway... So, um, cardio time. Get my ass on cardio, hit my 30 minutes, and um, I haven't shown myself do cardio. I don't know if you guys need to see me do it. I've seen some posts where people want to see me do different shit, but there's a reason I don't show me doing everything every day because that shit would be boring as fuck, and the videos would be four hours long. So, um, get my ass on cardio. I already did the fucking growth. Feeling good. Got my all day you made. Blue raspberry. And um, cardio, breakfast, fucking little bit of work, and then hit the fucking gym. I don't know what gym we're gonna hit, but I know we're gonna be hitting Gold's Venice again very soon, right, babe? 
Because that uh, shit yeah. is in our blood. Yes. It was fucking a great day, a great workout. So anyway, guys, have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.